and at Sergio Torres. Hola, amigos. Hola. We uh, are very excited. We're just about to go to Barcelona. Is it Barcelona? Barcelona. Think we're going to yeah. see a little game. Paid for us some tickets to go watch them. I think Barca are playing Bayern Munich semi-final, Champions League. Or is it Real Betis? Might be Real Betis. <laughs> yeah, OK, I bought tickets for Real Betis, thinking it was the Barcelona game. I've still got them. Anyone wants to buy them, then email me. <laughs> this is my good friend, Graham Redfern. Hi, everybody. Sorted us out for uh, getting through Gatwick, and uh, he's a loyal Crawley fan, legend. Shout out to his son, George. Yep, I'll let you have the ticket stubs, mate. Um, thankfully, this guy sorted me out like, this time last year when I overslept with the team... Uh, Team, team trip to Magaluf. <laughs> so I'll make it, he's making sure that I don't miss this one. So stay tuned. Video blog coming. This is going to be Sergio Torres, Adios. David Hunt, Tour of Barcelona. Hola, amigo. Hola. Te quiero. Hola. Hola. Hola, amigo. We're at Gatwick Airport. <laughs> oh, that's the tickets. <laughs> the right ones, though. The right ones. <laughs> Bayern Munich, yeah. Oh. Yeah, is that waiting? Not many people know how excited we are. Exactly. We're gonna make our dream come true and see the best team in the world play at the, one of the best stadiums in the world. It's going to extra time, and then maybe we'll party afterwards because it's the holidays. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But otherwise, <laughs> we are two proper be, football be, fans be today. Take, we thank you to the family that let us. Yeah, come. thank you, family. My wife. My and, little, uh, little baby. Graham. Graham. Yeah, especially, yeah, especially his wife, Lena. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, she's happy now. We're all packed. I'm looking after Sergi's passport because I'm his partner for the day. Exactly, yeah. So, stay tuned. More videos coming. Adios. Adios, amigos. Safe flight. So, we're here. Plaza Catalunya. Plaza Catalunya. Si, With my, my old family friend. Paris. Hello. Le <laughs> he's, he's, shy, he's single. Shy. He's single. <laughs> yes, yeah, I am. He's single. So anyone interested? Canadian, Japanese, Spanish now. Spanish. He's our tour guide. We're See? here, as you can see. Woohoo! Barcelona. It's quite warm as well. It's very warm. Sergi's got the suntan lotion. Yeah, on. it's very, it's very. Hard, uh, we're very hungry as well. So oh. we're gonna get some tapas for you, Danny Borman. <laughs> Keep in touch. <laughs> See you later at the game. Sergi, get involved with the Barca, with the Bayern. Hello. Uh, we Barca fans happy. Barca, Barca. Barca, Barca. It's nice to see the party, yeah? Huh? It's nice to see people party. Having a good time. I think in Germany there's only four haircuts. <laughs> All four of them, right? <laughs> Today, I am a proper fan again. Love football. Me and Sergi are like little <laughs> excited boys. Can't wait. <laughs> Show them what you bought. Yes. <laughs> How much? How much? 12 euros. <laughs> Honestly. We're ready. <laughs> Been yeah, roaming all around Barca, had a look at Cathedral, been to the uh, beach. Yeah, Hadi was a touristic. I was a tourist, guy. yep. Managed to get my Starbucks and they didn't take the Starbucks card. It's Germans everywhere, <laughs> absolutely everywhere. And uh, now we're just about to turn up to what's this place called? Um, Has it got a name? Uh, Camp Nou? New Camp? The no, camp come now, come now in Spanish. I'm sure it's the new camp or something. A new campus in England. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> some, it's some little stadium where some team play. But if you want to have a look, then we're here. Sergi, out of 10? Excited? 10. Exactly 10. Unbelievable. Come on, Bata.
Okay. Sergi, who's coming? Yeah. The boys the boys come on, come on. Come on. The boys are here. Yes. Come yeah, on, man. I think uh, Messi worked to me. Oh, no. I think he recognized me. I yeah. know him already. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Couldn't it? We made it. We made it through. We're inside. In the tickets search. Now we uh, think you see up the steps. <laughs> oh, wow. The new camp. Me and Sergi are total tourists. Hablo, hablo español, hablo español. <laughs> We've decided that uh, if Barca lose, we're going straight to bed. Yeah. If not, we're going to soak up some atmosphere afterwards, yeah? Yeah, exactly. We know a few places already, so... But the Germans, there are lots of them. So many. Lots of them. So... New camp. Vamos, vamos. Vamos, come vamos. on, pasa. No, come on, vamos. Vamos. Vamos, vamos. I've been taught in Spanish. We are proper fans today. Proper, proper fans. football. I feel fans. like a proper fan today. Right. <laughs> We're on the right level, Serge. Yeah. I don't think we are. 300. No, we're four, aren't we? Here, this way. Yeah. No? What were we? Four. 438. 438. How's the lady? Yeah. Sergi's work is magic. Hola. Cuatro pisos. Cuatro de sus pisos arriba. Oh. Gracias. Gracias. Señorita. Piso más arriba. Señorita. Señorita. That got us a tip earlier, didn't it? No, a discount. <laughs> See what I can see. Oh, oh, la, la. Oh, four three eight. Four three eight. Four three eight. Four. Oh. Here we go. I can see some green. I can see some green, Sergi. Four four three. Oh. I'm gonna do a little bit. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Nope. Two more. Nearly there. Stick with us. Yes, David. Now it's like another cup down. No puedo creer. Viendo uno de mis sueños. Next one, next one. The reception. We text each other every week when Barca play. Every week. Exactly. Every week through and the now, game. We're big fans. And now, we're here. So 
do. This is like the aerial view on FIFA. Hey, babe, babe, thank you for letting me come. I love you so much. Lena, thank you for letting me take him. This is a dream. This is a dream right now. I'm in heaven. Come on, Bassa. Sergei. Yes. We made it. We made it. We made it. We're here. Bassa. Enjoy. <laughs> Be disappointed with Barca's performance. Bayern very good though. Bayern very, very good. good. We're becoming a Bayern fan from now on. <laughs> Let's get some food and you go. Yeah. Hola. It's the morning after and we're very tired. With the kickoffs being at nine o'clock last night, we didn't get into about what, one, one in the morning? Half one. Half one. So but unbelievable experience. And me and Sergio just sat here having a nice nice uh, continental breakfast. Continental. Staying at a friend of my family's and well, close friend of mine should I say. Who I've known for years uh, at his parents' bed and breakfast in Stiges. So, this is some of my best mates' artwork out there. Stiges. Stiges. Yeah. Stiges. See, I say it wrong. Anybody wants to come and bring their family out here, this place is beautiful. Sun is shining today. I think it's like 22 degrees. And uh, yeah, me and Sergio are just. Appreciating, aren't we? What were you saying? We were just thinking of oh, these last 24 hours, how crazy it were. Uh, it's unbelievable experience. I really enjoy it. Barca weren't the best, but we appreciate it. We took all in, and now when we watch Barca from home, we know where, uh, how everything is. <laughs> Sergio was saying that he appreciates now what fans do sometimes. Sometimes you have to step into the seat of uh, what the fans go through. And then it makes you appreciate how much money they pay and stuff like this. I'm not saying that 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 uh, that we we trade for what we do because we appreciate how lucky we are to play. But yeah, we definitely uh, definitely. Uh, need to uh, see it from the uh, fans' point of uh, point of view. But uh, yeah, it was like last night we were disappointed with Barcelona how they played. And as a fan, you can't do anything about it, can you? But <laughs> we're we're lucky enough to still. Even though we don't really do nothing about it, we still try. <laughs> no, we try hard. That's, that's what can you do? <laughs> but this is us. We're in Sitges. Is that it? Is that how you say it? Sitges. Yeah. Sitges. The gay capital of Spain. The gay capital of Spain. So me and Serge are going to go down by the beach and hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> they're gonna so think yeah, mate. I don't care. I love I love him. And uh, and then I think we got a flight. It's now what eleven o'clock. We got a flight at three p.m. So just over a twenty-four hour journey. Yeah. So we we'll, um, sign off now. Yeah, we're gonna go back and see the family. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Wasn't much, but yeah. Barca, Barca, Barca. <laughs> we're back we're on the flight on the way home. Um, it's been a good trip, and now we've decided to do a quick fire of teammates, have a bit of banter. I know some of the lads aren't going to be happy with it, but here we go. For the, for the last three years. The last three years, every player that we played with involved in this, so we're taking it back a bit, have a bit of fun, and uh, let's go off of it. Best dressed. Uh, I went for Bully. I went for Clarky. He used to, uh, Clarky tries to come in every week with a, a new style. Obviously, uh, got a lot of time on his hands. But uh, Bully, Bully is 32, 33. Sponsored by Topshop. Uh, uh, he can pull it off, to be fair, too. Yeah, he can pull it off. So I try to copy it sometimes. Not the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Worst dressed has got to be Nicky Adams. Nicky Adams. And this picture will show you why. We agree. We both agree on that. Best banter, John Dempster. By a mile. This guy is a living legend. He should have his own TV show. Some of the things that he sends me via video, I'll see if any of them are right to put up, but the guy is the funniest guy I've ever met in football. Do you agree? 100%. 100%. Worst banter. Nicky Jose. Nicky Jose. No banter whatsoever. None whatsoever. So, <laughs> Nicky Jose. Most skillful? You say I Clarkie. Clarkie, yeah. I think he's the best technically player. He's been in the Crawley town in the last three years. Uh, I went for Sergio. Loves the nutmeg. I love the nutmeg. I have love the nutmeg. Hates yeah, getting nutmeg himself. So I when I did it in pre-season, he wasn't happy. <laughs> But uh, yeah, but I apologize. No, I say congratulations, yeah. but um, I'm becoming more English to be fair. I, I like to tackle and that. If Sergi gets a nutmeg in training, then it's been the best training session for him. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer that than a goal. Least, least skillful, Claude. Claude Davis. Sorry, Claude. Sorry, Claude, but he, he thought he had a bit, but got caught out all the time. Yeah, he's so. a big man. He's good heading the ball and that, but um, he struggled a bit with his feet. Always in the circle. Always. Best trainer, easily, Danny Ball. Danny Ball, man. Crawley legend. Crawley legend. Always and give 100%. And yeah. he, gets, he gets everyone up for it. Yeah. So, yeah. Even when you think that he's knackered, he'll just keep running. Them arms, you watch them arms pump then. <laughs> Worst trainer. In all honesty, I don't think there is one. No. Uh, some people have their little strops, but... No one really. No, we've got a good bunch of lads, so Very good, yeah. we're quite lucky uh, that we managed to get away with that one. We don't, we don't want to kill anyone either. No, who nice who would you kill? No, no, no. We're nice guys. We're yeah. nice people. Who would you kill? No. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest moaner, Matt Sparrow, and uh, my, my man Shears. Cut the Shears. He loved the moan up, and from what I heard, he still loves one now that he's up at Rodham. But Every time someone has got a goal pass him, he's always. <laughs> The defence mistake, is it? If you, yeah, if you chip him, oh, oh he loses his head. Not only that, we play doubles at table tennis, and uh, he, the serve went out, and that is a fact, Shears. The serve went out. He said it was in. We're travelling together, hour and a half in. We didn't speak for the rest of the day and the next day, and then eventually he caved in and said sorry. So, yeah, yeah. Shears loves a moan up. Least intelligent. Without a doubt, Kyle. Kyle McFadden. <laughs> on, on the pitch, it's one of the most on intelligent. On the pitch, it's unbelievable. It's like chalk and cheese. On the pitch, so intelligent. Off the pitch, has to get people to write text messages for him. His <laughs> tweets, no wonder other people are taking advantage of his tweets because they write them for him. He's such a nice guy. He's even managed to get the Siri wrong on iPhone when he talks to it. Uh, funny guy. Funny That's guy. Funny. Most intelligent. Most intelligent, <coughs> definitely. Ben Smart Smith. Guy. Phone a friend, 
It's Ben Smith. Can exactly. speak different languages. Other That's than you, cool. actually saying that, you've got a few yeah, languages. Yeah, I've got a few languages on me. Yeah, but. <clears throat> Uh, what you got? I, what you got? Give us a bit. I used to, I used to love talking to Smatcha uh, about everything. He knew about everything. And, well, yeah. now he's a teacher. And yeah. That show you why. Now, now we're getting serious. Best at table tennis. Amigo, thank you. Giving it to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's very close. Sergi, Sergi's very good on the defense. Winds you up, gets everything back. Bully similar as well, but. Yeah. I think when Nils was in, Nils was definitely number one. Yeah. But now Nils has gone, I've, so, I think I've took the crown. So, best at table tennis, definitely me. Worst at table tennis. Kipes. Michelle Kipes. Stiffest, stiffest I, player I don't in know, the world. I don't know how he's so stiff. <laughs> he's the stiffest, he's so stiff. Must be all these weights that he's doing. To be fair, he's got, he looks good for his age, but it does, Jesus. It? So <laughs> stiff at table tennis. <laughs> Best at pool, Gaz Alexander. I don't really play pool, so I don't know. You know about that. Definitely the best. The worst. I have to say, the worst at pool is definitely the gaff, old gaffer, Steve Evans. Whenever he played me and I beat him, it was always he's putting his B team out. Very rarely did he ever bring his A team. So excuses, excuses. But yeah, I'll probably have to say Steve Evans because I always beat him. Hair. Worse hair. <laughs> John Dempster. Some people are going to say me probably because I'm different. They're just jealous like me. Yeah, just jealous like people. Uh, definitely. <laughs> I'll say worse hair, John Dempster. We had to tell him how to get his hair cut. So once he got it done, he looked a million dollars. I think that's when he met his partner. But yeah, now uh, John Dempster, I'd say for me. Best best looking? Uh, Scotty Niels. Scotty Niels. I thought. Every time we went out from the, the Essex area, were at him. he's a ladies' man. He's a ladies' man. I know that he, uh, he definitely milked it, but fair play to him. Don't ever go out with him. Uh, but yeah, I'd say Scotty Nielsen. Worst looking. <laughs> There's only one for that, and that has got to be Richard Brody. Richard Brody. Jeez, this guy. <laughs> quote of the day is, oh, oh yeah, he fish lips. He looked like he had fish lips himself. So, I'd say him. Yeah. Worst driver, definitely, from what I've heard, Hope Akpan. Had his car, I think, two weeks. Must have crashed it twice. Not only that, when he gives people a lift, he charges them five pound a time. This, yeah. guy is, this guy's got to move now to the, the premiership. It's unbelievable. Hope Akpan, worst driver. Most fined? Oh, I was fine, man. John Akinde. John Akinde. And getting money out of him was like getting blood out of a stone. Used to be late quite often. Him, always, always having to pay up. Eventually, when you get it, 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 it was a lot of money. But yeah, trying to get money out of him. Him and well, Kipes were so tight. That's the next one. That's tight. the next one. Tightest player. Tightest player. Michelle Kuypers. <laughs> Nikki Ajose. John Akinde. I'm exposed. Oh. Go back, you, Pan. Yeah. But he did pay his fines, pretty sure. But I'm exposing all of you. It's, oh, it's so embarrassing. That's all right. They look after their future, then, you know? Kipes reckons he's got money to show for it, but. He's what? waiting for his uh, testimonial money. Still hasn't got it. <laughs> no, he hasn't got it. Right. He's waiting for that. John Akindi. Nicky Jose. I think he had a £15 fine. It took him four months. I think Sad's ended up playing for him. Embarrassing. Now, we go for a couple of funny ones. Best lookalike. I'm going to go with John Akindi. I think he looks a spit of Frank Bruno. Who are you we saying? We had a picture, yeah. We you were saying Tubsy? I thought Tubsy, yeah. It's a bit like, uh, I remember in, uh, in the Observer, was a picture of Tubsy on the top, top, was it Top Gun? Top Gun. Tom yeah. Cruise. He'll Tom love Cruise. you for saying that yeah. one. I think, I think Tubsy's another one for a good looking now. Yeah. You used to have the ladies, yeah? Yep. Loudest in the dressing room. I think it'll have to be Hovis. Scott Davis, Hovis, aka Hovis. Never shut up, did it? Oh my god, it, absolute lovely and guy. He thought it was quite funny. Huh? He thought it was, yeah, funny. Someone it was funny. If someone tells a story, he'll tell one that's even better. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Huh? But lovely <laughs> guy. Yeah, a story. Anybody needs a lift, message Hovis, he'll pick you up, he'll drop you off. That's why his name's Hovis, because everyone's got him on toast. Oh. 
Huh? Dog man. Dog yeah, man. we're a good guy. We miss him. Jeez, so loud. <laughs> now, the the worst tattoo. I, I, think. I think I think it's very good. But... You think it's good? Yeah. Who are you going for? Oh right, okay. Scotty so Nielsen. Scotty Nielsen, I reckon a lot of you will say worst tattoo now. When we went away to Magaluf when we won promotion last year. I, I guess he was intoxicated because I was with him and uh, decided to go and get I'm a 9 out of 10 on the inside of his arm. So he said it would be a 10 out of 10 if he was 6 foot, but he's not. <laughs> I think it's brilliant, but I don't think, uh, I don't think some, some liked it. But uh, he's got some balls. Hairiest player, Michael Doughty. Jeez. I don't tend to look at my teammates in the shower, but... And I'm on about butts. But Michael Doughty got in the shower. Wow. He should, do, he should, he should wax it. Wax it for charity or something. And a sports science as well. It's oh, Niall hairy. Clark. Jesus. <laughs> he looks like the Team Wolf, but an old version. So they're, they're definitely the two hairiest. Oldest looking player. Mark Connolly. Mark Connolly. Jeez. Can you believe he's only 20? 20, 21? No. He can't be. No. <laughs> He's got Rooney's got more hair than him. I can't talk, but at least I'm 30. Huh? Yeah. The guy is like, uh, how? How? <laughs> 20. Jeez. Sorry, Coles. Hardest paper round ever. <laughs> Worst body for a footballer, Scott Davis. Scott Davis, sorry, Hobbies. We've got it done again. Yeah, pigeon chest. I may have a photo that I could show you after this one, but. <laughs> And, jeez, this guy does not know how to get a tan. You can put him on a sunbed for, for 10, 20 minutes. He won't get anything. Now, being the car school, I had to expose someone every day waiting at least 20 minutes for the guy. At least. I think we even had an argument about it in the car. Dean Howe. Jesus, this guy takes forever. Now, I know, I know he likes to look after himself, but always late, Dean Howe. Jesus. He used to take ages in the shower, remember? Yeah. This next one, I think, is... Uh... Yeah, one of my best mates is... Uh... Sorry, Joshi. I eat every time we go out or we, uh, we're in the away uh, hotels and everything. He takes ages preparing his... Uh... Sorry, biggest Joshi. Biggest diva. Yeah, biggest diva. We got you down for that. Josh uh, says. Yeah, it's not like he's got long hair, right? It's just, it's, uh, you use this like the like missus does. Real cream? Yeah, no, the thing is like to make your oh, hair. Oh, the like, hair straighteners? Yeah, hair straighteners. The G's, whatever they're called. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I use them. <laughs> Sorry, Jesse. You stick to yours. <laughs> prankster. Now, biggest prankster, I'd say, I like to have a prank. I like to muck around. Yeah. On away trips, you might catch me hiding in your wardrobe or. I don't know. You seen underneath, the clip? underneath the table, oh, just killing people. Got a video of when we we got. <laughs> actually, I'll put that up after this. You'll have to go on then. Uh, a video of me uh, getting Matty Sparrow under the table uh, during dinner on a way trip. That was great. So yeah, I like a prank. And last but not least, the best dancer. Oh, huh? didn't see that one. Yeah, best uh, dancer. I got some uh, South American moves, which uh, I used to show a lot the last two years in the dressing room before the game. Yeah, go on then. Do we get a little oh, preview of it? Yeah, shall we? Yeah, come on then. Oh, it's a lot of people in the plane. Our man's asleep next to us, but... Yeah, he's, he's, coming, he's coming a good night. Bless him. You got a good night, doesn't it? Go on then. Give us a little bit of the shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> get plenty of that in the dressing room uh, before the games. Yeah, I like to mess around a bit. Yeah, it's nice. It's relaxing. Yeah, relaxing. So, that's it. That's teammates. We're halfway home. It's been, been a great three trip. years, Auntie. Huh? With me and uh, Sergio made a pact that every year we're going to try and do this. So sorry, Lena. We, we decided we to decided come to once do a year. This, yeah. Come and watch Barca. Hopefully they win. But still, Hopefully next time. Let's see a great game. What experience. Hope you've enjoyed and uh, stay tuned for the next one. We'll be away for eight weeks now. Eight, eight weeks, weeks yeah. Seven and a half weeks, eight weeks. Mm -hmm. You going on holiday? Yeah, I'm going to Menorca. 
couple of weeks with the family. Yeah, I think so, I'm booking uh, with the family seven weeks in Cyprus, maybe. Yeah, need to get some sunshine. Yeah, I need it now after being here. So, until next one, stay tuned. And adios, adios amigos. amigos. Sayonara, señorita. Adios. Ciao, ciao.